I was I was breathing hard, thought it was going to be real tight, but um, came up short. Uh, if I had it to do over, I'd do it again. Timer's breakthrough major title might have surprised a lot of people in America, but didn't surprise anyone who's followed his rocket-like rise in Europe. The surprise in the future would be if the assured young German doesn't win more majors. Congratulations, you are the 2010 PGA champion, and this is the Wanamaker Trophy. Congratulations. Don't forget to head to golfingworld.tv to keep up with all the latest news, features, and highlights. Every angle covered. Premier Banking from Barclays sponsors Sky Sports Golf Coverage. Bet365.com. Welcome to Casino City. I own you, you little runt. I want you to fire the fatty. What? Word. Horrible bosses. The savour menu is full of classic McDonald's tastes, such as the mouth-marvelling 99p medium fries. So classic, if they were a film, it would be timeless and all emotional. Or the taste bud sizzling £1.39 double cheeseburger. So classic, it would make the most classic car feel a little bit sad. That's McDonald's, and then some. sport. Welcome to the British Basketball League Championship and to the English Institute of Sport here in Sheffield where we'll see the Sharks take on Leicester. The Riders are flying high after making their best start to a season in over a quarter of a century. But they've only beaten the Sharks once in their last ten visits to the Steel City. Something has to give tonight. Before the main action gets underway, let's have a look at how things stand in the league table. Leicester are one of only four teams in the BBL with an undefeated record so far and will move above Glasgow with victory tonight. Sheffield have played the top two three times already and find themselves joint eighth. Champions Mersey have two chances to get a win on the board over this weekend. Well, tonight I'm joined by Cheshire Jets coach John Lavery. John, you've played both of these teams twice, unfortunately lost to them both twice. What can we expect? Um, a really high tempo game. Obviously, we played the Sheffield Sharks early on in the um, trophy, lost both games narrowly. Okay, and then obviously we played the Leicester Riders, won in the cup, won in the league, lost heavily. Um, it's going to be a really hard, physical game, up tempo game, and I'm expecting a lot of fireworks tonight. And the Riders off to a great start this season, tremendous on the road. They've won uh, six in a row. They're in top form. Yeah, they're really in top form. Um, I predicted they'd be obviously there or there about come the end of the season. And at the moment, my prediction's coming right. And then Sheffield have had a funny old run of results. They won their fa first five games, lost the last four. What do you make of them? Um, you know, it's it, it, the, all, all they need to do is get that win. We want to get that win. Um, I think Atiba will obviously get these guys playing well. Um, but, you know, it's going to be a really tough one tonight. 
Um, they've lost three already in the league. They don't really want to pick that early fourth one. Obviously, these guys have got to come out and play tonight, but it will be a really, really tough game tonight. And psychologically, how important do you think it is for the Sharks to win this game, being that they're at home? Um, psychologically, it's, it's, it's very important that they, these guys win tonight. Um, as I said before, obviously, they don't want to pick up that fourth loss it's so early on in the season. So, obviously, a team has got to get his team ready to play and come out and play hard. And looking long term, do you see either or both of these teams at the top end of the table come the end of the season? Both teams, you know, um, Leicester are really, really deep. They probably have got the deepest bench in the BBL at the moment. And, you know, Leicester are no mugs. Uh, I'm sorry, Sheffield are no mugs. You know, obviously, both teams will be there or thereabouts at the end of the season. Well, it promises to be a cracking game. Earlier, I spoke to the two coaches to gauge their thoughts on the encounter. Well, Rob, you come here on the back of six wins. Confidence must be really high in the group. We feel good, yeah. We, we have a nice rhythm going right now on both ends of the floor. I like the way our defense is playing as well. Um, over the last few games, we've tightened things up, and, and our ball movement's been good. So uh, we feel good. We understand it's a long year uh, with a lot of ups and downs, but at the moment, we're playing good basketball. And uh, Sheffield is not a place you've won too often in as a coach. I think you've only had one victory here, so you know it's a difficult place. No doubt. I mean, coming up here on a Friday night, uh, always difficult. They always have a good team, and um, they play hard, and they play together, and you know, we expect that tonight from this team. I know they've, they've lost a few, but um, you know, we think they're going to be right up there at the end of the year, and um, you know, we're looking forward to the game. Yeah, they come in here on the back of uh, four defeats. You just put that down to a schedule thing? I think so, yeah. If you look at their schedule, they lost to Plymouth and Newcastle twice and away at Glasgow, so there's no shame in that. Uh, these, this team is, has some veterans. They have some talented players. So, um, you know, they're a good team, and uh, it's going to take a, a good performance from us tonight if we're going to get a W. What's the key factor for you in today's game? I think defense for us. I think it's very important for us to play good defense. I think we've uh, shown so far this year that we have the ability to uh, lock teams up for a while. And if we can do that uh, on any given night, we give ourselves a good chance to win. Good luck in the game. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, Atiba, I know you weren't happy with the way your team shot the ball last week. You've got to come out and do a better job at that this time. Yeah, definitely. You know, you're not going to win too many games in the BBL shooting like that, especially on the road. So uh, something we, we know we hopefully is a one-off type of issue. Uh, got some solid shooters, some guys that knocked down shots for me in the past. So I hope it's not a problem tonight. Now, you've lost uh, a few in a row now. In some ways, is it good to be at home, get back on the old friendly rings? Well, yeah, you know, you hope that that goes your way. I think uh, it's just a case of us. We have to come out and play hard 40 minutes. You know, I think we've been there, thereabouts, but we haven't put a whole game together. So, you know, it, I'm interested to see these guys put a whole game together for me. And Leicester come here in tremendous form. What do you think has been the key to their success? I, I think Rob put a great team together. You know, looking through them, you know, I think they're one of the teams to beat this year. They're uh, through and through tough. You know, he has a lot of athletes, guys that can really pass and make plays as well as shoot. So, you know, I think they're uh, going to be one of the toughest teams this year. Which area of the battle do you have to win to win the game? We just got to try to limit their transition and, and, and rebounds. And you know, I think that's the key for them. They've they got a lot of guys that run the wing well and, and get out. So we got to just try to limit their transition, rebound the ball well, and give them second chance points. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Well, the game's just a few moments away. So let's have a look at the two lineups, starting with the Sharks. And whilst Nate Reinking is most remembered for his time here in Sheffield, he started his BBL career with the Riders, and he's been the Sharks' leading scorer this season. Justin Dobbins and Mike Tuck are amongst the BBL's leading rebounders so far. John, who do you think will be the key players for Sheffield tonight? Um, for Sheffield, I think Nate Rankin. Um, he's an outstanding athlete. Um, he's an outstanding professional. Um, and obviously, the guy's got to really come and play because obviously, these guys really need a win tonight. Um, also, Justin Dobbins, you know, the guy's an absolute monster inside. Um, we're looking for a really, really good game from him tonight. And now let's have a look at the Riders lineup, and they're playing their fifth away game in six outings, but having won them all, Leicester are looking for a fifth straight road win tonight. This from a team who won just seven on their travels all season last term. Aaron Hardy was player of the month for October. Cam Rundles and Brad Wisbecki are amongst the leading scorers in the BBL, and we haven't even mentioned Drew Sullivan. This looks like a real deal team from the Riders. Yeah, obviously these guys are really, really tough in, in every position. Um, even obviously when the guys come to the bench, um, everybody steps up, you know, these guys go 10 deep. So on any given night, you know, any of these guys can put 20 points on you. So it's going to be a really, really tough game for the Sheffield Sharks tonight. 
where you mentioned him a moment ago, Nate Reinking was actually part of a Leicester team that started the year seven and two. They've gone better than that this time around. Their, their best start since 1984, but Reinking, even at the ripe old age of 36, still looks like a premier scorer in the BBL. Yeah, you know, that, that guy is, you know, he, he's gonna come out and get you 20 points every night. Um, obviously, he's got to come out tonight and do that because obviously the Sheffield Sharks need a big game from Nate and obviously they need to get this W. And at the other end of the floor in the backcourt, Cameron Rundles has really announced himself on the stage here in the BBL, put up some big numbers, hit an outrageous game winner down at Guildford a couple of weeks ago. He looks like a promising player in this league. Yeah, he's, you know, we've, we've played these guys twice, um, and I really, really like Cameron Rungles. He's, a, he's an excellent point guard. He runs the team really, really well. Um, he doesn't turn the ball over. He knocks down his open J when he's free. Um, he's just a general on that floor. Well, these are heady days for Riders fans, but the Sharks fans will be a little concerned that their team has dropped four in a row. It's pretty easy, as Rob Paternostro said before the game, it's pretty easy to lose two to Newcastle, one on the buzzer to Plymouth and away at Glasgow. No shame in any of that, but they wouldn't want to stretch it to a fifth straight defeat. No, the, you know, these guys have got, got to come out and obviously get this win on the home floor and in front of the home fans tonight. And as obviously, if they do lose tonight, that's four they've lost in the league. And you know, obviously, Ativa doesn't want to get that early fourth loss, so we lose in the season. Well, the officials make their way back out. Ready for the uh, horn to sound. So 10 minutes can be put on the clock. The two coaches embrace, and the two teams both in a huddle with their final little words. Leicester there, Drew Sullivan, plenty to say. He's joined by Wisbicki, Hardy, Royster, and Rundles. And for the Sharks, it will be Dobbins, Lions, Babalola, and then the backcourt of Langhurst and Reinking. As everybody shakes hands, we're almost ready to go here. The BBL Championship action here at the EIS in Sheffield. It's the high-flying riders against the perennial contenders, the Sheffield Sharks. Nate Reinking just extra lacing up of the boots. And he's good to go. Thumbs up from the referee all round. And here we go then. Dobbins and Royster will jump it up. Dobbins wins the tip, but it was on the way up. In fact, referee says, we'll just try that one again. Didn't quite go high enough. Third time's a charm. Dobbins wins the tip again, and the Sharks will get us underway. Nate Reinking ambles it over the halfway line. Gets it on to Langhurst. Back to Reinking, round the screen from Dobbins. Lines thrown inside to Dobbins, and they're looking to go to work straight away inside the Sharks. Yeah, obviously, you know, put the ball into Justin. You know, Justin's going to put the ball into the basket, so it's, it's a good offense, first of all, to go inside to Justin Dobbins. Sullivan trying to get it to uh, Royster and thrown out of bounds, and that's one thing on Leicester. We've talked about the depth, but Tom Sherlock out with flu, Flynn de Boyd out injured. That just shifts the, it makes them a bit small, especially with Sherlock not being there. They've sort of got Royster and they've got Lamble as a backup, but perhaps not quite as deep in the height department as they once were. No, quite as deep, but obviously, you know, um, these guys will step up when they come off the bench because obviously it's a great game um, to play in. Here's Langhurst for the Sharks. Ryan King running around the screen with the head fake. Out to Dobbins. Dobbins from the mid-range jumper. And he's got all four points here in the opening minute. Now, if Justin Dobbins is going to step out and knock that jump shot down all night, um, Royster's going to have a really, really tough night. Well, Sullivan this time does get it to Royster. Squares up to Dobbins. Little baby hook off the mark. And both teams looking to go to the big men early. Yeah, it's interesting. Obviously, both teams are going inside really, really on. So, obviously, Justin Dobbins at the moment is really controlling that matchup. Dobbins this time a little bit too long. And Hardy with the rebound. Trying to zip pass through to Sullivan. It's not loose by the Sharks. And Dobbins comes up with it. Babalola with the spin. That's a tough shot from Olu Babalola. Big one rainbow from Olu. Here's the turnover. Good hands from Babalola to break it up in the first place. 
and he ends up with the score at the other end. Cameron Rundles with a step back, and Riders have their first points on the board. It's taken almost two minutes. Riders just need to take care of the basketball and just run their sets. I think they'll be fine tonight. Well, that was one of the things I know Rob Paternostro was pleased with, how well his team was doing at looking after the basketball. But he won't be pleased with this start that his team has made. 8-2 down after two minutes. No, Sheffield seem to get uh, anything that they want to get at the moment. Obviously, Leicester have got to come and play some defense. Rundles has it now. Rundles fires up from behind the arc. Cameron Rundles from deep. And Leicester are one of the better three-point shooters in the BBL. Yeah, obviously, they got Rundles. Obviously, um, Brad Witzewski will knock that down all night. And obviously, Andrew Sullivan will shoot the ball really well from the outside as well. And, of course, John Griffin, who missed the first month of the season with a thumb injury. Oh, good block by Royce, but referee calls for a foul. But Griffin can come off the bench and hit a three as well. That's the first foul of the game. Brett Royster just trying to challenge Dobbins. Yeah, Certainly I think he, he just caught him on the body as he went off. And it's a tough move from Justin Dobbins, though. Certainly looked like he got the ball at the top, but there was uh, some body contact in there. And Dobbins will go to the line. Looking to add to his total, and he's got five points. Dobbins short on the second, but it had enough to bobble in. The shooter's took. Sharks 10 and the ride is 5. Here in the EIS in Sheffield. Sullivan has it for the riders. Royster. Rundles. Drives inside, kicks it back out to Sullivan from behind the arc, and that goes. Riders with two threes in a row have cut it to a two-point game. You know, you, any any player on the Leicester team that outside that arc, you cannot leave them open. They will knock that jump shot down. Great steal from Hardy, gets it out to Vince from Hardy. And he lays it in at the, the other one. end. Draws the foul, he'll go to the line for the bonus, and you were saying before the game to me, and what a great game Hardy had last week against you, how he does a bit of everything. Steals, points, rebounds. Yeah, the guy does everything on the floor. You know, he's, he's a real, real tough player, and obviously he just came up with a really, really big steal for the Leicester Riders, and he obviously he's laid on and got one as well from the line. And the Riders now have their first lead of the game at 11 points to 10. Rankin got it up court by Rondos, gets it on to Langhouse. Babalola round to Lyons. Rankin thought about the three, Rondos didn't let him have that, but he did give him the lane, that's tipped away by Sullivan. Rondos has it, Hardy running hard, with Vicky is there, but right, Hardy goes on his own and jams it down, stolen and away by Rondos, throws it forward, that will be a good place as the referee. Look like a backcourt, doesn't matter now because the shots have stolen it away. Babalola to Langhouse for three. And he hits in the corner. And what a frantic bit of play that was. Yeah, Le Leicester he just needs to take care of the basketball. He's got to cut these turnovers down. And obviously, there's been a couple of times we've thrown the ball away. Sheffield Sharks have come back down and hit, hit, hit the important basket. But Leicester just needs to take care of the basketball. Here's Sullivan in the low block. And Sullivan spins, fires up, tough shot from Drew Sullivan. And you talk about the uh, Leicester needing to take care of the ball. They committed fewer turnovers than anybody else in the BBL so far. It's still early in the season. They're only averaging six and a half per game. They've already coughed it up three times in the first five minutes. Defense the cry from the Sharks fan as Rundles has called for a traveling violation as he tried to get past Nate Reinken. Referee judging he didn't quite. I think it's because he put the ball over Reinken that it's coming from a high spot. Yeah, for, for me it wasn't a travel at all. No. Brad Wisbicki will sit down as checking into the game for the first time is John Griffin. He signed for the Riders in the summer and then in 10 minutes into the first practice, damaged his 
thumb, ski and slum, they call it, and was out for about six weeks. Yeah, Rob would be obviously glad he's got this guy back because this guy can really shoot the ball from the outside. Hardy cutting through the lane, gets it on the far side, squares up to Dobbins with a mid-range pull-up for two. And gives the riders a four-point lead. Dobbins has Langhurst open in the corner for three. It's off the back of the ring, comes all the way out to Dobbins. From 19 feet, doesn't go. Another offensive board, no, Royster tips it away. Well, I think Sheffield have got to go back to what, they, what was working for them early on in the game. Obviously, they've got to start going inside to Justin Dobbins rather than just relying on this three-point shot all the time. And we were, we were talking about the, the lack of Sherlock and Royster with the second foul here. Barry Lamble going to have to come into the game for him. And that's one thing that Barry... Uh, that's, that's the screen, the moving screen. Well, he was moving. I'm not sure whether he was screening. Yeah, no. Obviously, it's a big body to get round as well. But Lamble into the game for the first time for the Riders. And he will have the unenviable task of trying to keep an eye on Justin Dobbins. Babalola draws the foul. The blocking foul on Drew Sullivan. Yeah, just a quick crossover there from Olu. Just caught um, Drew Sullivan just sleeping a little bit. There. That's broken up by the foot of Aaron Hardy, which would reset the shot clock, but as it's holding on 14, it'll stay there. And referee Wilkinson just explaining the rule to Babylon. It changed in the summer. It used to be 24 you'd get for that. Now it's only 14. Yeah, just obviously trying to try and quicken the game up a little bit. Babalola behind the arc for three. Only Babalola hits from deep. Yeah, if all is open, he will knock that down all night. Griffin rundles round the screen, jumps into a double team, but breaks away from it, throws it up high to Sullivan. Griffin has it now. Shot clock getting low for Lester. Griffin driving through and just three a on the shot clock. Way. There's a foul. Foul is on Langhurst, and that's going to give a break in the game that allows Atiba Lyons to check back in. And it's Langhurst who's just picked up his second personal foul who sits down. Now, this is a big lineup for the shots with Babalola, Dobbins, Tuck, and Lyons all out there with Nate Reinking. This is as big as they can go. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see, obviously, if Atiba Lyons can hold Cameron Rundles. Rundles. Shot clock ticking down. Rundles blows past him. Barry Lamble grabs the offensive rebound, but the ball never hit the uh, ring. So it is a 24 second violation against the Riders. Great defense, great block. Yeah, obviously, Justin Dobbins came over from the weak side and made an amazing block. Just got there. If the ball had hit the backboard, it would have been called a goaltend. But as he got there before the ball hit the glass, he was able to knock that one away. Reinking. Oh, good pass from Reinking to Tuck to Dobbins and oh, shouts it down. Must, monster done right over on Hardy. Hardy went up for the challenge, but couldn't do anything to stop the big fella there. Lamble backing down out to Griffin. Griffin spinning through the lane under pressure. Tough shot. It's a really tough move from John Griffin. Sheffield looking to push. Nick Reinking ringing it back quickly. Goes down low to Tuck, has Dobbins on the trail, but he's called for a traveling violation, first of all. Cameron Rundle's getting the best for you. Here's another look, great touch pass from Tuck. Dobbins did the rest. Brad Wisbicki back into the game for Leicester with Cameron Rundle sitting down, which moves Griffin over to the point guard position. Hardy penetrates to Lamble in the mid-range, the back of the ring, tipped loose by Tuck and managed to chase it down. 
Rankin with a little stop and go, dumps off to Dobbins, and he's fouled by Aaron Hardy. That'll be his first. Here we go, obviously, Sheffield coming down, working the ball inside to Dobbins as well, which is weird. Obviously, all the work's getting done at the moment. Well, the interesting thing is that Sheffield have gone with this big lineup, but are still looking to push the ball down the floor pretty quick. Yeah, mo most of these guys can barely handle the ball, so obviously, it doesn't have to go to Nate Rankin. Obviously, he's running the point at the moment. Any of these guys can push the ball, and they're all filling the lane. As Dobbins goes to the line, Jamal Anderson checks in for the first time. Drew Sullivan gets himself a break. Justin Dobbins ties the game at 19, just over two minutes to play here in the first quarter. And you think back, it Sheffield managed to get 10 points on the board within the opening two minutes. It's taken them another six to get the next ten. Yeah, it's Vicky close. open for three. Brad wins Vicky. He's too good a shooter to leave that open. Yeah, you can't leave that kid open. That kid will knock it down all oh, night. Good recognition from this Vicky as well. Dobbins drives in. This time he jams it down with two hands. He's finding plenty of space in that lane. Yeah, that guy's an absolute monster. It's a really, really good two-handed jam there. Obviously, it's Sheffield really going inside for Dobbins. Somebody from the Leicester City Riders really got to step up and play some defense on Justin Dobbins. There's Vicky dancing through the lane. His shot is way off the mark, and Babalola pulls in the rebound. Lyons throws it cross court to Reinking. It's a little bit too high and threw his hands out of bounds. Right his ball. Drew Sullivan back into the game. And Hardy will take himself a break. Tied at 22, 75 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Griffin throws it across to Wisbicki. Driving through, gets it to Sullivan. Sullivan penetrates up in the air, out to Wisbicki, behind the arc for three, another one from Brad Wisbicki. You cannot leave him open. Well, they got a hand to him on that one at least, but wasn't enough to stop him. Knocking it down. Leicester gone into a 2 3 zone, trying to obviously make sure Sheffield just shoot the ball from the outside rather than pound it inside to Justin Dobbins. Babalola. Shot clock getting low for Olu Babalola. Hand in his face, doesn't go. Another Big offense rebound for Dobbins. Dobbins to tuck and he lays it in. Sheffield doing a great job on the offensive line. Yeah, obviously Leicester have got to start boxing out and stop getting Dobbins easy, easy rebounds. Leicester trying to take the time out of the clock. There is about a two, maybe three second differential between the shot and the game clock. The shot clock is down to seven. They need to go now. Sullivan in the corner for three off the back of the ring. Long rebound comes out to Tuck. He saves it. Didn't need to. Griffin fired it off. And Tuck could have let that go out of bounds because it would have been a Sheffield ball. But good first quarter. Both teams showing their strength. It's a one-point game, John. Yeah, obviously, Sheffield are going inside to Justin Dobbins, who's absolutely dominating inside at the moment. Obviously, it helps with Royster being on two fouls. Obviously, Barry Lambeau stepped in, but obviously, he needs to step up and to play a little bit of defense. Well, nothing between the two teams through 10 minutes here at the EIS. We're at the end of the first, where the Riders lead the Sharks 25-24. We'll be back after this break. Sky Movies Premier HD, brought to you by Smart Vieira from Panasonic. I had a few tough fights, but the next fight's gonna show who I am. This is my younger brother. Taught him everything he knows. I'm the one fighting, okay? Not you, not you, and not you. Ask him if he would have won Sanchez without his brother. It's sad that you let them take it away from you. This is your time. I had my time and I blew it. You don't have to. The Fighter starts Friday on Sky Movies Premier HD. No one brings your movies like Sky Movies.
It all starts with a Windows 7 PC. Critics are calling 50-50 charming and uplifting. One of the best films you'll see this year. You can't help but love this movie. 50-50 in cinemas November 25th. Sky's Online Casino brings you a great range of online casino games with a completely free £5 bonus to new players to play on casino classics such as Million Pound Drop, Cops and Robbers and Cleopatra and favourite games like Deal or No Deal where you choose your lucky box and attempt to beat the banker. You can use your free £5 to play the slot version too or a jackpot game that's reached £2.6 million. Claim your £5 free now at Sky's Online Casino. SkyVegas.com Hi, I am the new Nikon One. I'm pretty small, and I'm very intelligent too. Take my lenses, for example. With them, you can take brilliant images in any situation. And the best thing is, I already start capturing images before you've even fully pressed the shutter. That means with me, you'll never miss a moment again. I am one click ahead. I am the new Nikon One. Saints Row the Third, out now. To communicate, to communicate is in our nature. To create, to create is in our nature. To connect, to connect is in our nature. To talk balloons is in your nature. To bet on Paddy Power Mobile is in mine. PaddyPower.com on iPhone, Android, and BlackBerry. This is the iPhone 4S. It's all new camera with 8 megapixels and advanced optics. Let's you capture stunning photos. And because it's an iPhone, you can do things no ordinary camera can do. So maybe the only camera you need is the one on the most amazing iPhone yet. Welcome back to Sheffield, where the riders are out and ready, and here come the shots. It's a one-point game. Rob Padanostro talking things over with his uh, assistant coaches as uh, the Sharks make their way out onto court. Drew Sullivan waits on the halfway line to inbound the ball, but both teams too keen because we haven't used up the full break there. Got to get down to zero before it can reset to ten. I always like to see them out there in a hurry. There goes the horn for the end of the quarter break, and we can get ourselves underway. There we go, 10 minutes on the clock, we're ready now. Justin Dobbins has been the key player for the Sharks thus far with half of his team's 24 points. That's the struggling to control him down low. Rundles. Rundles looking to drive past. That's a goal turn. No goal doubt time. about that one. That one touched the backboard, but certainly you mentioned it earlier when they go with this big lineup. Is can Atiba Lions keep with Cameron Rundles? He's gone past him twice. The answer is no. Yeah, well, obviously, he's, as you said before, he's gone past him twice now, so obviously Atiba might have to think about obviously his bit of more strategy on defense. And you can see, you saw on that replay, that one hit the backboard. Once it's hit the backboard, you've got to leave it alone until it hits the ring. Good rebound from Sullivan. Hardy challenged the initial shot. Here's Hardy on the trail. With Big P is open for a third three-pointer of the game, and it goes. That's two on the trot from the same, plus from the same spot. You cannot leave this guy wide open. Well, the first one, they were nowhere near. They've got a little bit closer on the last two, but... They haven't done enough to stop Brad Wisbicki making his first three shots of the game. Foul is called on Hardy. Pulling the short, says the referee. You can see what Rob Padanostro thinks of it. Foul 
will be a short ball from the end line. Trailing by six here. Leicester staying in this 2 3 zone. Thrown cross court to Lyons. Shot clock down to six. Dobbins, I don't think, sees it. Babalola does. Gets, dumps it off to Dobbins, and Dobbins once again just missed. They, they lost him there in the uh, cut to the basket, but Olu Babalola certainly didn't. No, obviously, Olu went up for the jump shot. Everybody obviously thought he was going to shoot the ball, turn around for the rebound. Olu just found Justin Dobbins underneath the basket. Rundles. Rundles with a tough mid range shot, does it go? Knocked loose by Hardy. Babalola manages to recover. Babalola thinks about the three. Sullivan runs out to it. Gachette clears a little space for himself. Shot is short, and Lambo is first to the boards. It was Vicky cutting back door, but Sullivan couldn't get it to him. Now gives it to him. With Vicky spins, Leicester want a goaltend on that. I don't think the referee's going to give it to them. The foul was called on uh, Zach Gachette, and referee judged the block to be legal as well, so Wizbicki will go to the line shooting too. Let's have another look at it. You know, Brad's shown all, all what he's got, versatility. Obviously, he's shooting the ball really well from the outside, and he obviously just posted Gachette up there and gone to the line for two shots. Well, that one was close. as uh, the block and the backboard very close to each other, but the referee judging the block to come first, and as Vicky makes them both, he's into double digits now with 11. First time it wasn't a three-point shot as well. Dobbins. Babalola. Babalola looking to go to work. Backs out, shot clock at four now. Oh, great hands from Hardy. Babalola has to fire it up. It hits the ring, and Sullivan one handles in the rebound. Rundles drops it back, uh, Sullivan, and gets it in return. Lamble cuts to the high post, spins, a little fall away. Nice shot, uh, no points though. Lions with the rebound. Mike Tuck from behind the arc, and he hits all string from Mike Tuck from behind the line. Both teams shooting the three-point ball very well. Yeah, obviously, if any of these guys are wide open, they will shoot the ball, and they are good three-point shooters. Not loose, but uh, Rundles is first to it, gets it up and back to Sullivan. It didn't reset the shot clock, so Leicester will have to hurry. Rundles driving That's in, draws the foul. Foul is on the floor, says the official, so it'll be a sideline ball to the right. It did look as if Rundles tossed it up after the whistle. And Coach Paternostro with a word for the official. Debating that last call, I think it's fair to say. Is that what you call it? <laughs> Here's Lambo. Cross court to Rundles. Sullivan. Was Bicky. Was Bicky drives past, dumps off to Hardy. Hardy is pushed, and that will go. He'll go to the line for a three-point play for the second time tonight. Soft move from Hardy, but it all came from Brad's penetration. Obviously, the Sheffield Sharks have got to uh, take a bit more care on the defense. Well, Tim Lewis, the uh, assistant coach here in the Sheffield, wanders over to the table and says, "We'll have a timeout, please." His side trailing by five it could go to six and Leicester I mean it's their offense as much as anything else that has given them this lead with 34 points on the board already yeah it's, it, and, and, and the defense obviously they've gone into that 2-3 zone to try and obviously um, stop the ball going inside to Justin Dobbins and make, make, make Sheffield beat them from the outside and at the moment obviously Sheffield aren't hitting the outside jumpers and obviously um, Leicester are pushing the ball really well penetrating well shooting the ball Riders by five will be back after this break. Hey, where are you guys going? Don't know. Up on. <laughs> Let's roll the dice. Now here in New Orleans, we go where we end up, and we do what we end up doing. <laughs> oh, looks like we're here. Well, the here. Y'all enjoy the local spirit now. Who 
Who's up next? Come on, Grandma. <laughs>McDonald's tastes, such as the mouth-marvelling 99p medium fries. So classic, if they were a film, it would be timeless and all emotional. Or the taste bud sizzling £1.39 double cheeseburger. So classic, it would make the most classic car feel a little bit sad. That's McDonald's and then some. At Santander, we approached our revolutionary new savings bond from a completely fresh angle. It's the only three-year fixed-rate bond to pay you all your interest up front. So you'll get £1,000 up front for every £12,000 you deposit. It makes you wonder if other bonds are the wrong way round. Santander. Driven to do better. with a Windows 7 PC. Hello! Hi! <laughs> no, it's incredible, the sort of people you can meet that, you know, you just wouldn't meet otherwise. You know, you can't go to a bar and kind of meet loads of great guys. And all of a sudden, I was kind of going out on dates every weekend, going on a site like eHarmony. You're the type of person that goes after life and, and makes things happen. Um, and that's quite an attractive trait, I think. So it's a fun thing to do? Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Review your matches free at eHarmony.co.uk. This is the iPhone 4S. It's all new camera with 8 megapixels and advanced optics. Let's you capture stunning photos. And because it's an iPhone, you can do things no ordinary camera can do. So maybe the only camera you need is the one on the most amazing iPhone yet. I had an amazing time tonight. Did you really? Yes, really. I can't wait to see you again. How about I cook you a nice Sunday roast? Mmm, Sunday. Rodriguez scores for Liverpool! Unmissable Ford Super Sunday. I'll call it Sky Sports, your home of football. Welcome back to the EIS, where Rob Padanostro and his Leicester Riders have themselves a lead here in this second quarter and a chance to extend that last action was the three-point play opportunity that will send Aaron Hardy to the line. And it was also a second personal foul on Zach Gachet. I think he's going to come out of the game now. He is indeed. Doesn't make his way back. It's Atiba Lyons who checks in. Hardy just going through his uh, practice routine. And now he'll get to do it for real as the referee bounces the ball out to him. He converts that. And he's into double figures now with 10. 
Bit of full court pressure coming from the Riders with the 2 2 1 press, and they just get it over the line with the second to spare there for shot. Ryan King for three, and that's the problem in a press. If you don't recover back, you can leave somebody like Ryan King open. Yeah, and obviously the guys at the back need to rotate a little bit quicker, and obviously you can't leave a, a guy like Nate Van can open on the three point line. Lambert with the quick release from the foul line, and that's really his shot. He loves that sort of 15 feet jump shot. Lions has the screen from Tuck. Cross court to Babylon, thrown down low to Dobbins. Dobbins looking to go to work. He's been the star scorer for the Sharks in the opening stages, and that never hit the ring, but it came off Lamble last, so it'll be a Sharks ball from the end, but no reset of the shot clock, so there's only three seconds for the Sharks to get it up. Rankin gets it into Dobbins. Dobbins fires it up, wraps around. Oh, it's through Lambert's hands. He just lost it, and Tuck got the rebound. Here's Dobbins. Dobbins goes to work, lays it in, and Justin Dobbins leads all scorers with 16. Yeah, he's playing really well at the moment on both ends of the floor. Not only has he put 16 on the board, but he's also put Brett Royster on the bench with two fouls. We've not seen him. In a long time. Sheffield going into a 2 3 zone of their own as well. Lions is called for the foul, just foul grabbing hold of Hoy. Leicester ball from the side, we approach the midpoint of the second period. They lead by three. Rundles trying to get past Lions, does so. Rundles, oh, a little oh. flick! What a lay in from Cameron Rundles. Excellent play by Cameron Rundles. Penetrated really well, knew where the basket was, put the ball into the basket. Didn't look like there was any room for him to get that lay off, but he found a spot. Dobbins with the spin, and that one bobbles in again. He's up to 18. Half his team's offense. And Lester have found no way to stop him thus far. Was Bicky gets up in the air, has it knocked away. Sheffield have numbers here. Ryan King off and running, and lays it in for two. Somebody else from the Sheffield Stars needs to step up on offense because it's going to be a long night for Justin Dobbins if he's going to carry the whole team on his back. Party. Rundles. Offensive foul is the call. Cameron Rundles. With a drop of the shoulder. And let's have another look on the replay. It's a call. Well, he's certainly got plenty to say about it, although Rundles is a talkative guy. And we got a substitution for Leicester. They'd already made it with Griffin coming in. Sheffield wanted to bring Langhurst in, but for some reason he wasn't able to, but the referee says he can come in, so here he is. And Dobbins during that last replay, which is waving at the crowd, trying to get them to crank up the noise a bit more, and they've uh, reacted. Reinke. Reinke fires up over Lamb, a bit too long, rebound Hardy, and Lyons comes in a little clumsily, and commits the foul, just taps himself on the head. He knew he should have made that one. Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty tough shot there by Nate Rankin. And the worst thing about it is they're over the limit, so it's an easy walk down the court for Aaron Hardy to try and get two points on the board. Yeah, we've got four, four minutes to go in this half, and obviously um, Sheffield in, in, in the penalty, so obviously Leicester are probably going to take the ball to the basket every time. Well, Justin Dobbins is going to get a breather. He did turn to the uh, bench a moment ago to ask for a sub, and he said he's... Uh, He's got a lot of work to do tonight with 18 points already on the board. He's still the, game, the game's leading scorer. Yeah, it'll be interesting now to see who steps up for the Sheffield Sharks. Leicester are going to make a substitution as well with Anderson checking in for Lambert. Obviously, obviously Leicester City riders counteract that substitution of Dobbins and gets Barry Lambert a quick rest. First one is good. 
from Hardy. He makes them both on the line. He's up to 12, leads his team. Ryan King. Lines. Lobbed over. No, it isn't lobbed over because Hardy managed to break it up. Good athleticism from him. Flip back to Sullivan. Sullivan drops it out. Hardy drives through. Bounces it down to Sullivan. Rundles fires up the three. Halfway down. Good rebound from Anderson to chase it down. Rundles in the corner this time. This one is short. And Langhurst with the boards. Ranking down to Tuck, sizing up Hardy. Goes strong block by Hardy. Hardy goes after him again, but this time Tuck lays it in. Yeah, it was a tough block there by Hardy, but obviously Mike Tuck and uh, continued with the play and got his rebound, put the ball back in the basket. Sullivan for three. All string for Drew Sullivan. Tough shot there by Drew Sullivan. Rob Padanostro prowling the sidelines as ever. Very rarely sits down during the game. Tough. Lions on the far side. Langhurst drives through, gets it up high. And that is a foul on Babalola. I think Langhurst had to throw it up a bit higher than he wanted to because he saw Hardy coming. Yeah, Hardy's an excellent athlete. And as you just said, obviously, Jimmy Langhurst had to put the ball up a little bit higher so Hardy couldn't get it. And on the rebound, Babalola commits the foul. And uh, once again, over the limit, it'll be a long walk down court for the Riders for a chance of two freebies as Dobbins comes back into the game for the Sharks. Yeah, he's, he's had his little rest. He's going to come back in for the remaining um, 2.39 of this half. Well, two uh, and a half to go here. Leicester leading Sheffield by four, and Rob Paternostro has called a timeout, and I'm sure he'll want to try and take some momentum into halftime and try and get a run. I know in the game they played against you last week, Leicester managed to put something like 17 points on the board in the last three minutes before halftime. He'll want that sort of run into the break. Well, there's some debate over who was fouled. I'm sure it was Sullivan, and that's the case he was making. The referees have a discussion and agree it is Drew Sullivan who should be on the line. Sullivan on the line for two. Sullivan had pulled in the rebound and he was bumped. I think it was Babalola who got him. And obviously when you get a timeout break, referees had to just remember who was it was fouled again. We got the right person in the end. And Bruce Sullivan makes them both. Sheffield with possession, trailing by six here. As Nate Reinkin crosses the halfway line. Ryan King to Tuck. Tuck lets go from behind the arc. That's off the back of the ring. There's Dobbins again inside. And another one jammed down by Justin Dobbins. Absolutely threw that one down. Drew the foul. He'll go to the line for the bonus. You know, it was great rebound. He got really great position inside with a um, small Andrew Sullivan obviously trying to match up with him. Um, obviously, Leicester now are going to take, take Hardy out. Gonna take Jamal Anderson out and get Lamble back in there. Absolutely monster dunk from Justin Dobbins. Well, the first thing Dobbins did in the game was get Royster on the bench. Royster is Leicester's biggest inside uh, defender, and uh, he has only played five minutes in the game because he picked up those two fouls. And Leicester have been filling the gap since then. Rob Paternostro not put Royster back into the game, obviously saving him for the second half. Griffin down low to Sullivan, sizing up my tough to the turnaround. Tough shot from him is a little bit short. And Dobbins pulls in the rebound. Ranking round the screen, kicks out to Babalola. Babalola looking to go to work, almost knocked loose by Hardy. Gets it down to Dobbins. Dobbins clears out Lambo and goes strong. And Leicester just have no answer for this guy right now. No, the guys came to play. You know, at the moment the guy's got over 20. What is what's 23 that? points? 23 points in this half. Great performance by Justin Dobbins. Griffin. 
Griffin drives through, trying to get it to Lambles. A little high, but Lambles' long arms managed to pull it in. Referee then said he traveled with it. Once again, half-time, make it, take it competition. So Sheffield with a sideline ball here and a chance to regain the lead with a minute and 20 to go here in the first half. Langhurst, Rankin, Babalola driving in, dumps off to Dobbins again. And there's a foul called. If that's on Sullivan, I think that'll be his third. No, in fact, it's called against Barry Lambeau. And that's only his first personal foul. Well, she Sheffield doing all the right things at the moment. Obviously, Dobbins has uh, is, is got the hot hand. They're going inside every time to Justin Dobbins. At the moment, Leicester City Riders have got no answer for Dobbins. Well, Dobbins will go to the line, where he is perfect in five attempts today. He's 8-12 for the floor. And he leads all scorers with now 24 personal points. This to give Sheffield the lead with a minute to go in the first half. Dobbins up to 25, we've not even reached the half. He's got more than half of his team's points. He's got a quarter of the game's points. Just somebody else from the Sheffield Stars just needs to step up a little bit on offense. Traveling violation court against Drew Sullivan. Just didn't get the ball down in time before he started to go. He just moved his feet before that first dribble went down. It's Rankin. Babalola checks the clock, sees there's 10 on the shot clock. Cut through the defense, knocked away by Lambo. And, and that'll be his second. Ola Babalola this time will go to the free throw line. And then Leicester are going to make the substitution with Brad Wisbicki checking back in. I think it's for Lambeau, but he's talking to the referee, so he hasn't seen it. It is Barry Lambeau who. Sits yeah, obviously, down. with Royce, they've got two fouls. Lambeau's got two. Obviously, um, Rob doesn't want any of them going in with, into the half of three fouls. And referee Wilkinson has just warned Cameron Rundles any more chat. And that will be a technical foul, so he's got his final warning. As Babalola doubles the Sharks' lead. Yeah. 30 seconds to go here in Sheffield in the first half. Rundle's pushing it quick. Was Vicky to tie the game? Yes! Another one from Brad Wisbicki from behind the arm. His fourth of the game. Shooting the ball really well from the outside. Langhurst. Reinken gets it to Babalola. Sheffield can run it down. They don't opt to run it down. And the ball is loose. And now they can again get it down to the final shot. In the corner, good hands from Griffin to knock it loose. And there is 4.1 seconds to go there in the... Uh, first half and we're going to have a timeout called by uh, the Tiva Lions to draw up a play. Sheffield went a little bit too quick there. Fortunately for them they came up with the offensive rebound. Here they come the two sides. Sheffield will get the ball from the side and it will be ranking to inbound and it's one of those sometimes where you see a guy inbound it curl into the corner and they can yeah, lose him on shot. the inbound and he's open for the shot. But again, obviously, you know, you can't go away from Justin Dobbins. You know, the guy's absolutely dominating inside at the moment, so it'll be interesting to see what they run now. Ryan King to get it in. Oh, it's too hard oh. to tuck it through his hands. Oh. And I can guarantee you that wasn't the play that they drew up. Oh. Rob Padanostro just ran to the table just to check to see if he had a timeout left to call. And he has, and now he's got 2.6 seconds left but he's querying how much time went off because it was 4.1 on the clock. So it's saying, how did a second and a half go off in that time? 
The referee said it touched his hands, that starts the clock, and it's not dead until it hits the floor out of bounds. It's not when it crosses the line, it's when it touches something out of bounds. Yeah, and obviously the referees are right with what they just called there. Um, it looks like Rob's going to probably obviously try and get, get maybe Westpac Becky open on the three-point line, shoot that three, um, or obviously they might try and pound the ball inside. Um, two seconds to go, obviously tough shot. See if we can go in at half time, two points up. Well, it looks like that's uh, Rundles is the line in the bottom left hand corner. We're assuming it must be Ruiz Vicky in the opposite corner, and the two of them coming cross court with Sullivan at the high post. And then, I don't know, it's either a shot or it's a drive for basket. Two and a half seconds. You can do just about two bits. You might get two dribbles, one pass, one dribble. Yeah, we you struggle to get three in, in it. Yeah, you're not going to get much with them. Um, 2.6 seconds. As you said, we'll probably get two dribbles, penetration, two pull, or pull up jump shot. And the pass is a long way into the backcourt, so they're going to have to be quick. Got to get it in. It's thrown long to Sullivan. It's got to Sullivan, and he lays it in. What a play from the Leicester Riders. Thrown from Aaron Hardy in the backcourt to Drew Sullivan to lay it in. And Andrew Sullivan and, oh, just, Sullivan's got, a just got a technical foul. For Ogden, he thought he was fouled. Let's have another look. It looks like he got his share pulled. Um, you know, it's a, a tough call there. Well, oh, there's contact there from Babalola on the back. Referee has called a technical foul. So I'm assuming, do we have the shots now or after the break? Well, what a first half we've had. And it's a big game for Dobbins. Has seen the Sharks doing well here in the first half, but they trail to the Riders by two. We'll be back after this break. Brand new Simpsons, Sunday at 6, Sky 1 HD. This is an unexpected pleasure. You may dispense with the pleasantries. I'm here to keep you on schedule. I assure you, Lord Vader, they've been training half months. Perhaps I can find new ways to motivate them. HPDM1. Light, compact, powerful. Perfect for those on the move. You have learned much, young one. At Santander, we approached our revolutionary new savings bond from a completely fresh angle. It's the only three-year fixed-rate bond to pay you all your interest up front. So you'll get £1,000 up front for every £12,000 you deposit. It makes you wonder if other bonds are the wrong way round. Santander. Driven to do better. Sky's Online Casino brings you a great range of online casino games with a completely free £5 bonus to new players. To play on favourites, Monopoly, Rainbow Riches and Soccerette slots and classics like Roulette, which you can play live or in low stakes and professional versions. Or a jackpot game that's reached £2.6 million. Claim your £5 free now at Sky's Online Casino, skyvegas.com. Hi, I am the new Nikon One. I'm pretty small, and I'm very intelligent too. Take my lenses, for example. With them, you can take brilliant images in any situation. 
And the best thing is, I already start capturing images before you've even fully pressed the shutter. That means with me, you'll never miss a moment again. I am one click ahead. I am the new Nikon One. Out of control. Out of my mind. Studio line. Out of bed fiber cream. Messed up style. Out of my face. Rough it up. Mess it up. Out of my league. Studio line. Out of bed fiber cream. From L'Oreal Paris. Welcome back to Sheffield, where we had a high-scoring first half, 100 points on the board, and we're going to start this second half with a couple of free throws after that technical foul on Drew Sullivan. So Sheffield will go to the line with a chance to tie the game. We, we've been talking at the half about the numbers Dobbins has been putting up, 25 points on the board for the number 25. Uh, can he do that again? I mean, you don't see guys getting 50 very often. No, it's going to be a tough ask for him to do that again. Um, obviously, as we keep on saying, in the first half, somebody from the Sheffield Sharks have got to step up. Obviously, Mike Tuck's got nine points. Um, Nate Rankin, um, seven. Olu, seven. So one of these guys have got to step up and obviously try and give Justin Dobbins a little bit of a rest. It will be a, you know, a monster effort if he does go for another 25. Superman act by Justin Dobbins, but it'll be um, very unlikely that he will. Well, the other thing is Leicester have thrown Brett Royster back out onto court after picking up a couple of fouls in the opening uh, four or five minutes. Yeah, well, here's the two free throws for the uh, technical foul. And Royster certainly will give them more size and presence, but it's yeah. no good if he commits another two fouls in quick succession. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what he does. Obviously, the guy's a shot blocker. He'll go after everything, so he just needs to stay out of foul trouble. If he does, it should be an interesting ball game between these two. If he doesn't, it's going to be a long night for the Leicester City Riders. Yeah, Royster leading the BBL in the early stages in block shots, and uh, shot blockers go after it and prone to getting the... Uh, Odd foul or two. Hardy knocked that one out of bounds. A bit of a sloppy pass from Babalola. This time he gets it in. And we're underway. Tied at 51 here at the start of the second half. We're going Sheffield going straight inside to Justin Dobbins. And Royce has put him off, but he got into his own boards. And Royce is obviously a bit worried about committing the quick foul then. Yeah, he just want to pick up that quick third foul, but obviously, you know, he's still got to come out and play some defense. Royce gets it to Wiz Vicky, who was 4 of 4 from the three-point line in the first half. Sullivan hits from behind the arc, and Leicester shooting the lights out. That's their eighth three-pointer in ten attempts. You know, you can't leave any of these Leicester players open on the three-point line. These will knock it down all day. Both teams shooting quite well. Sheffield 4 of 6. So 12 of, uh, what is that, 16 between the two teams. Down low to Tuck, back out to Dobbins. Shot clock at three as Langhurst fires up at short. Dobbins keeps it alive, great tip by Dobbins. Langhurst is open and Dobbins doing a bit of everything. Yeah, obviously if he's not getting the ball inside and dominating, you know, he's, he's rebounding, tip, tipping the ball to his teammates, doing a really good job at the moment. Rundle's driving to the... Oh, just had to step on Nate Reinking. All Reinking could do is bump him and his call for the foul. Yeah, just a quick cross over there from Cameron Rundles. Here's a look. You see, Dobbins couldn't quite get the rebound, but smart enough to know where his teammate was and tip it to it. Yeah, great offense. Loved it into Rundles, who had to chase to the far corner to, to get it. Cameron Rundles fires up for three, string music from Rundles, and Leicester's three-point shooting uh, clinic continues. Tuck. Tuck with the jump shot, knocks it down and ties the game at 57. The uh, scoreboard hasn't put the last rider's three-pointer on. The Riders fans are getting more and more irate, but it is tied at 57. Wizbicki 
as Bicky stops, goes, drives off the glass, too hard, rebound Royster knocked away by Langhurst, and it's tipped out of bounds, it'll be a rider's ball. And uh, the score is up, but the referee's just going to check with the table whether any time was lost in that. And he's happy enough that everything's okay. So two minutes gone here in the third quarter, and it's 57 apiece. Rundles. Babalola in his front of him, knocks it loose, and gets a big round of applause from the Sharks fans. Rundles. Wizbicki driving underneath. Oh, nice play from Brad Wizbicki. Defense was a little bit slow coming over on the weak side help there. Gives an easy two points to Brad Wizbicki. Good cut back goal. door from Babalola, but Leicester recovered. Ranking. Ranking goes the opposite way to the screen, then comes back. Nate Ranking from behind the arc, and he hits. Both teams showing their prowess from behind the arc. Both teams are on fire from the three points arc at the moment. Rundos, love down to Hardy. Hardy's trying to post up the small and Nate Rankin take him to the basket. He does shot. exactly that, but Rankin did enough to make it a difficult shot and Hardy couldn't convert. Drives along the baseline and he's fouled and there it's foul number three on Royster. Instead of going for that block, he just needs to take a step closer and take that charge. There's another look. Yeah, the problem is he did get some of the ball, but whenever you go forward like that, the referees see the movement forward and there's bound to be some arm in there somewhere. Yeah, he's obviously your momentum taking you forward and he obviously just caught him on the arm. Yes. Right now, makes them both from the line. Sheffield coming with a little up court pressure, nothing Cameron Rundles can't deal with. And he goes past Babalola off the glass. He's quick. Very, very quick. Very quick. One point ball game here in Sheffield. Shorts leading it 62 61. And there's foul number four on Royster. And we said they can't afford him to come out and get two quick ones. That's exactly what he's done. Less than four minutes played, and he's picked up his fourth foul. It's going to be really, really big for Leicester. Came back the other way, and as you say, chasing the block once again. Dobbins with a little pump of the fist there. He knew that was the fourth, and, well, he doesn't look too pleased, does he, Brett Royster, as he sits down, Barry Lamble back in for him. So that was a really, really tough call, though. Dobbins at the line. First one is good. And he's been perfect all day from this distance. Eight of eight. Dobbins gets on goal. And he knocks them down as well. 29 he has now. Still 16 minutes to go in the game. Rundles to Wisbicki. Lambert. Hardy. Hardy with a little stop and go. Good reach from Babalola to knock it loose. Hardy shot, he's short. Sheffield looking to push through Reinkin. Reinking dumps it back out to Dobbins. Reinking open for three. Yes! All screen from Nate Reinkin. Yeah, they just good. lost him. Yeah, he just lost him for a minute there and it was a really, really big long three from Nate Rankin. And a Sheffield shot shot by six. Timeout has been called by Rob Paternostro off the back of this three-point shot. You saw Wisbicki diving out, but nowhere near in time. And the Sharks fans on their feet making noise, leading by six. It's been a good start here. Just a delay as uh, one of the officials has a word with Tim Lewis on the bench. I think you can see he was stood up and only the coach is allowed to stand up, so 
Lyons is already there. Still adjusting to life as an assistant again. Rundle to Wisbicki. Wisbicki drives through. A little short. Lambert should have got that rebound, but dropped it. Langhurst had it. Langhurst to Reinken. Reinken sneaking out into the corner. Reinken goes the other way to Babalola. Good hands from Hardy to knock it loose. Can he come up with the steal? Yes, he can. Rundles. Spins to Hardy on the trail. Oh, goes up and great challenge from Tuck as Hardy jams the front of the ring. He thinks he's foul. Referee's having none of it. Let's see what the replay brings on this one. And you can see what Rob Paternostra thinks of it. Let's have another look. Yeah, I think I think Mike Tuck got his arm. Well, certainly the Leicester fans behind their bench less than impressed at that. Ryan King. Ryan King to Dobbins, broken up by Sullivan. He's off and running. You won't catch Drew Sullivan out on the break. And he jams it down for two. Dobbins squares up to Lamble, backs out. And they will reset. Is Dobbins offered the screen. That's where you want to keep Justin Dobbins, just on the 15 foot line. Don't get him inside. Tuck with a good offensive rebound, too strong on it though. Babalola gets it blocked by Sullivan. Sheffield with three attempts but couldn't get it to go. Rundles. Gets it to Wisbicki. Wisbicki driving in, blocking foul on Olu Babalola. And Brad Wisbicki will go to the line for a pair. Well, Leicester pushing the ball really well, getting a good penetration and getting the block. Two shots from the line. Second foul on Olu Babalola. He's just going laterally, caught him with the hip there. Great call by the officials. Olu will get himself a break with Lions checking it. One of the officials has gone down to the other end. I think there's a damp patch at the far end of the court. He's just checking that's been wiped up, which is why there's a slight delay there. You can see but it's something on the court. Wow, great eyes to spot that from the other end of the floor. First free throw is missed by uh, Brad Wisbicki. I was just checking. I don't think he'd missed the shot, but he had missed one shot earlier in the game, a two-point shot. And he'll get himself a break as he sits down. He's his team's leading scorer. Langhurst. Dumps it down low to Dobbins. They're coming with a double team to try and slow him down. Gets it round to Lyons, and that's the problem. If you come with a double team, somebody else is open. Yeah, somebody else is open. Well, obviously, the other guys have got to help the helper. The other guys have got to rotate and play a little bit more deep. Skipped round to Griffin. Griffin from behind the arc. That one's a little short. Batted out by Sullivan to Rundles. He fires up from behind the arc. Sullivan going after it again. This time, Tuck beats him to the ball. Tuck pulls up from 17 feet and knocks it down. You know, you can't give a guy like Mike Tuck that much room. He'll knock that down all day. Sheffield's lead out to six here with three minutes to go in the third. Sullivan lobs it up, alley -oop to Hardy who jams it down. Great play there by Ann Hardy, what an athlete. Ryan King, tough trying to lose Sullivan, does manage to do so for a split second and get free. Here's Lyons now. Lyons drives. And Hardy spins back the other way. Good defense from Hardy. Tuck tips it in. Goes up high. Great play from Mike Tuck. Tuck rebound carrying the board there by Mike Tuck. Great offensive rebound. Rundles drives in. Bit of a gap opened up in front of him. Finds Lambo and tipped in by Aaron Hardy on the far side. Dobbins is open, drives through and jams it down. What a game just 
Jason Dobbins is having. Another monster jam, jam by Dub Justin Dobbins. 31 he has now. Hardy guarded by Reinke. Shot clock down to four as he drives in, tosses it up. Makes it look easy. Tough shot. Langhurst for the shots. Cross court to Reinke. Now Tuck has it. Around the three point line for the shots. To Tuck. That pass is deflected, but he finds Reinking for three off the back of the ring. Sheffield in there for the rebounds again, but this time Lions can only bat it out of bounds. It looked for all the world like another offensive rebound was coming the way of the uh, shots. Sheffield with 10 offensive rebounds in the game already. Leicester have only had 15. Defensively, so two thirds of the, uh, or third, sorry, of the rebounds ending up in offensive hands. Rundle splits through the double team, pulls up in the lane, it's halfway down. Lamble from behind is caught by Dobbins. That will go for Barry Lamble, and he will go to the line for a bonus. And the thing about uh, Dobbins, we've been talking about the foul trouble he's caused at the other end. That's only his first personal. Yeah, obviously the guy's doing it on the offensive end. Um, he has been playing really good defense, but obviously that's the first foul he's picked up. But a great rebound by Barry Lamble there. Lamble with a chance for a three-point play, which he converts. Rattles it in. Less than just one go away here. They trail by only one. Cross court to Langhans. Fires up from behind the arc. That one's short. Lamble this time boxes out Tuck and pulls in the rebound. Rundle's looking to push. Pulls up for three on the break. Halfway down. Rebound Hardy. And Leicester can just about run this one down. There's a two second differential between shot and game. So they can just about take the last shot here. Griffin off with the screen from Hardy. Says, go away, he's still got eight seconds. Griffin fires up for three and hits! John Griffin from behind the arc. Gives Ryder to lead, still chance for Sharks to get one off here. Langhurst looks at the clock, drives in, fires it up on the buzzer, it's too long, and what a shot from John Griffin to end the third quarter for the Leicester Riders and give them a two-point lead going into the break. Yeah, he took control of the last 20 seconds and pulled up and um, hit a really, really big three-point play. Tremendous game of basketball we have here. It's back and forth. And at the end of the third, it's the Riders who have the lead. But who will hang on in the final period? We'll be right back after this break. You don't want to be on the wrong side of history, Shen. And what's Terra Nova really about? Let's see. The epic new series, Terra Nova, Monday at 8, Sky One HD. Disarono on the rocks. Disarono, ginger. Disarono, sour. Disarono, open the possibilities. This November, kids are gonna be fine. Let friendship. You look weird. Do not jump. I'm not at all. Give you a fighting chance. I mean, get it. Bad mattress. <laughs> you can't help but love this movie. One of the best films this year. He's inspirational. 50-50. If you were a casino game, you'd have the best odds. In cinemas, November 25th. At Comet, an iPod Touch is only 149. And this laptop with 4 gig of memory is 299. And this 40 inch TV is only 299. So visit our stores or go online. Come and play at Comet. 
The savour menu is full of classic McDonald's tastes, such as the mouth-marvelling 99p medium fries. So classic, if they were a film, it would be timeless and all emotional. Or the taste bud sizzling £1.39 double cheeseburger. So classic, it would make the most classic car feel a little bit sad. That's McDonald's and then some. It all starts with a Windows 7 PC. Are you curious about new ideas? Do you want to learn a new language? Or just a new word? Maybe you want to know more about anatomy or astronomy. You could master something new or uncover a hidden talent. There's never been a better time to learn. What are those things on your head? Earmuffs. You get them free from Orange this Christmas. Earmuffs? Well, it gets a bit chilly at Christmas. It's uh, a little present from them. They're worth 60 pounds, you know. Well, they look very modern. They play music too. Musical earmuffs. What will they think of next? How about a telephone shaped like a head? Get a free pair of Angle and Curve headphones worth £60 when you buy a pair as you go phone from £30 this Christmas. Visit an orange shop today. Welcome back to Sheffield where we've got some game on here. The Sharks and the Riders going right at it. And it's a two-point lead for the Riders, who are already back out on court. Still 30 seconds to go here in the uh, break. But what a shot there from uh, John Griffin to end that period. Hardy came up to offer them the screen. He said, no, nah, get out of here. I'll just knock down a three. Yeah, he's going to go for the pick and roll there. But obviously, John Griffin had a different idea. He came up, penetrated a couple of dribbles, pulled up, a great three-point shot. Still finding his way back into the team. He only returned to the squad just over a week ago. He'd gone home to the States to get some uh, treatment on that thumb. I think he got back into Leicester on Thursday of last week. And he's already in his third game. Gachette. Tough. The shot clock's not running. The clock is... The shot clock isn't running at all. They've only just turned it on. The Sheffield would have committed a 24-second violation by the time that shot had gone up, because the clock had got down to 2.30... Uh, to 9.36. But the shot clock never started to run. And that's what Leicester are complaining about. But the foul is on Babalola, so... I'm not sure Rob Paternostra had seen it, but certainly Latero Williams' his assistant was jumping up and down. Yeah, with obviously Rob being pretty calm, I don't think he's seen it at all. <laughs> I think it would have been a different, different matter if he would have seen it. Rundles to Anderson. Gets it back to Rundles. Here's Griffin. Griffin trying to drive past Langhurst. Gets it into the lane. Lamble at the foul line off the back of the rim. And Babalola has the rebound. Oh, Gachette, he hit him in the chest. I don't think he was even expecting it. Langhurst thinks about the three, turns it down. Bichette drives in, stolen away by Hardy. Good reading of the pass. He's looking to push it now, and he's fouled by Bichette. And uh, that will be a sideline ball to the Riders. Just good reading here from uh, Hardy to dive in front of Dobbins. Yeah, he just stepped in that passing lane, made the interception. Hardy, trying to go to work on Gachette, stops, goes, kicks it back out to Rundles, Rundles off the mark for three, comes all the way out to Langhurst, and he's caught by Griffin on the rebound. Oh, 
Drew Sullivan getting ready to check back into the game for the Riders. They just gave him a little breather at the start of uh, this fourth quarter, and it's going to be Aaron Hardy he checks in for. Hardy with 18 leads all scores for the Riders. It was Vicky 17, Sullivan 16. It's pretty tough. Babalola. To Langhouse. Babalola. It's all around the three point line here for the Sharks. As time gets low in the offense, the Shet drives it cross court to Babalola. Got to shoot. One on the shot clock. Babalola hits a three. What an offense. It looked like they were in trouble for a second there, but Babalola makes the three. Yeah, it was a really tough shot. Obviously, less, less, less than keeping the ball on the perimeter. You don't want it to go inside Dobbins. And Olu come down, hit, hits a really, really tough three. Griffith. Rundles. Fakes it, the shot, now he takes it. It was almost for lack of a better option. He thought, I might as well shoot. I can't see anything else to do with it. Yeah, he, he took his time there and knocked down a really good two. Babalola. Babalola. Michette down to tuck. Good pass to Dobbins, but it's broken up by Sullivan. Griffin gets it from Lamble and throws it back to Rundles. Rundles picks it up, needs some help. Gets it from Sullivan. Sullivan wants to give it back to him, does give it back to him. Driving through, finds Griffin open for three again. This one's a little bit short, and Babalola pulls in the rebound. Still a one point game. Seven minutes to play here in the ball game. Tough. Gachet. In the corner for three is Langhurst, and he hits. Rob Paternostra not happy, immediately points to his bench to get Hardy back in. They just lost the shooter in the corner. Yeah, it's just poor rotation by Leicester. Obviously, you can't leave a guy like Van Heerst open in the three-point line. Shots by two, Rundles for Leicester. Drives in, Rundles throws it off the glass, a little too hard, Tuck tips it down, but only to Rundles. And Leicester can reset. Griffin, round to Rundles. Rundles drives in, kicks out to Griffin, fakes it for three, takes the two. John Griffin, string music, ties it at 80. Excellent shot there by John Griffin. Babalola for the shots. Cross court to Gachet. Tuck in the corner, this time Anderson runs out to him. Inside to Dobbin. Dobbins out to Tuck for three. They've done it again. The Sharks run the clock down and hit a three. Another wide open three. They're passing the ball down the perimeter really well. Goes inside, comes back out again. And Mike Tuck knocks down that three. Great exhibition of patience, looking for the uh, shot to come to them. Sullivan with a head fake, and he's fouled by yeah. Babalola. Babalola bought that one. Yeah, he, he, he took that big fake. Substitutions both ways. We've got Royster coming back into the ball game with 5.33 to go on four fouls. Barry Lambert will get a quick rest. He doesn't want to pick up that fifth foul really, really quickly. Well, Royster's barely played in this game, such has been his problems with foul troubles. But can he uh, keep out there for another five and a half minutes for the Riders? Well, the Dobbins has slow, 25 at the half, only six in the second half. Good pass from Royster to Wisbicki to the hole. Well, Sheffield surely will go straight to Dobbins and see if they can foul Royster out. Well, Leicester have gone back into a man-to-man. -man. Dobbins from the elbow, doesn't go, rebound Hardy. That's the type of shot you want Dobbins to take. You don't want him to get the ball inside where he can do all his damage. Sullivan down low to Royster. Can he make an impact at the other end? No, because it's not loose by Ryan King, but it will be a Leicester ball. Ten on the shot clock. Midway through the final period of a thrilling game here in Sheffield. It's the shots by one. It was Bicky for miles behind the arc. It's off the ring. Good tip from Rundles to Sullivan. 
really long three from Brad Wisbicki. And that's the first one he's missed tonight. Sullivan from behind the arc. That one goes for Drew Sullivan, and the Riders are back in front. Why don't you three again? Lions to Dobbins. Dobbins, they're giving him that shot, and he's missed it again. Sullivan with the rebound. He was much more effective in the low block in the first half. Yeah, obviously Le Leicester are letting him have the ball on the um, on the elbow, and obviously he had the moment he's not not knocking that jump shot down. Rundles drives in, is fouled from behind by Atiba Lyons, I think it is, trying to see through the bodies. Yes, it is. And Cameron Rundles will go to the line for two. Third personal foul on the Sharks player coach. Rundles looking to double the Riders lead with four minutes to play. First one is good. Both teams shooting the ball very well from the free throw line. I think we've only had one missed shot between them. From the, from the line, from two points, from three points, both teams are shooting the ball except for the yeah. It's just been an excellent game all round. They're in the 50s for three-point shooting, two-point shooting. Leicester, uh, uh, Sheffield, sorry, in the 60s for three-point shooting. And 190 percent, respectively, in the free throws. Ryan keep driving to the hole, and that's tipped out of bounds. I think it came off Sullivan last, as he and Royce have kind of got in each other's way. So it's a Sheffield ball. Langhurst will inbound from the end. The top was open for a second, and so too was Dobbins, and Dobbins inside, and there it is. Straight away, Royster with the foul, and he is done. Royster has fouled out of the game, and Dobbins has fouled him out. All five fouls have been committed trying to stop Dobbins, and he hasn't been able to do it. Royster's only played about 11 minutes in the game. Yeah, not, not a great night for Royster. Obviously, he's, 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 he's come, come against a really, really, you know, great, great Doug, Justin Dobbins tonight. He's been absolutely fantastic, and uh, he just hasn't been able to match him physically. Again, chasing a block that probably wasn't there on that occasion. And Dobbins will go to the line as you see Latero Williams, the Riders' assistant coach, former captain, has a word for him. Dobbins converts the three-point play. And he's up to 34. Rundles. Sullivan to Lamble cutting to the high post. Gets it to Wisbicki from the elbow. Tough shot from Brad Wisbicki, but he knocks it down. Shoot the ball very well. Three to play. Sheffield with the ball. They trail by three. Reinken. Reinken to tie the game. Off the back of the ring. The long rebound comes all the way out for Lions. And Sheffield can reset. Ryan King lobs it down to Tuck. Tuck trying to go to work on Sullivan. Sullivan did a good job there. Rebounded by Rundles. Was Vicky was off and running, but Rundles will slowly take it over the halfway line. Tremendous game, John. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. It's going to go down to the wire. Uh, I was a better man. I don't know where I put my money. Well, was Vicky drives through and lays it in. And Leicester shorten the odds just a little bit on themselves there with Brad Wisbicki's tremendous lane. And uh, that's caused a timeout as Brad Wisbicki lays it in for the Riders. He's up to 23, their leading scorer. And the Riders lead by five. This game could still go either way. Join us for the final few minutes after the break.
Let's get it poppin' I'm in Saints Row Tricks Out now at Asda I own you, little runt I want you to fire the fatty What? <laughs> Word Horrible bosses Hang on, I'll take you home, yeah? Thanks, but I don't live nearby, I'm afraid. Oh, but it's not a problem. I'm cool. Just want to make a smile. Stay with you a while. Um, you want to come in? Uh, no. No, I just wanted to... The Renum again. You've never driven a car with so much va va -voom. You now get 3,000 miles of free fuel when you buy a new Renault, so you've never had a better reason to keep driving. SkyVegas.com Classic casino games. Join today for a completely free £5 bonus. To play on jackpot games, that can grow to 1.5 million pounds. SkyVegas.com. Five pounds completely free. We have a situation here. The lift's down. But we're still going up. You're crazy. It's 25 floors. There's an old lady up there. She needs this. It's me. Steve, mate. I've had it. Come on. We're going to get through this. And then we'll be down there, sipping a crisp, refreshing Strongbow. Come on! 24. Ooh, so far. I knew you guys would pull through. Now that's what I'm talking about. This is stripy. I wanted plain. Make your Christmas even more magical with TV in sparkling high definition. And the the nation believes that when I speak, I speak for them. Merry Christmas, Amani. Merry Christmas, Harry. Treat your family to a fantastic lineup on over 50 high definition channels. Get Sky Plus HD online today and you'll receive a free Sky Plus HD box, free standard setup, plus 25 pounds to spend at MS. Sky, believe in better. <laughs> hey! Where are you guys going? Don't know. Hop on. <laughs> Let's roll the dice. Now here in New Orleans, we go where we end up, and we do what we end up doing. <laughs> oh, looks like we're here. Well, the he is. <laughs> Y'all enjoy the local spirit now. Who's up next? Come on, Grandma. <laughs> Welcome back to Sheffield, where Rob Paternostro and his Leicester Riders are trying to keep going a six-game winning streak. The record under Rob is eight games, which they did uh, a couple of years ago. The club record is, uh, I think it's nine or ten, so they're in, they're in heady territory for the Riders. As I said at the start of the show, they're already off to their best start in a quarter of a century, another victory here, and they'll get close to their best ever start. Yeah, they're in great shape at the moment, um, up by five, with just over two minutes to play. And if they come out and play some defense, I think they'll take this one. But Sheffield Sharks do not look like they're going anywhere in a hurry. And Dobbins has had a monster game with 34. Do you think they're going to keep trying to go into Dobbins or are they going to look for Nate Reinking's experience to see them home? I think it'll be a little bit of both. They'll try and get the ball inside to Dobbins. If it doesn't, it'll kick it back out and obviously see what Nate can create on his own. And we've also seen the likes of Tuck and Langhurst hitting good three-pointers against the Riders' defense. That was against the zone, however, and Leicester are back in a man-to-man. -man. They want to go to Dobbins, who's guarded by Lambert. 
Dobbins backing down, gets himself in trouble out to Langhurst. Langhurst, Babalola, big shot for three, it's off the mark, rebound Dobbins. Oh, uh, for a moment there, it looked like it was going to bobble out for Dobbins, but it dropped in. Yeah, great rebound by Dobbins. Puts the ball back into the basket. Three-point ball game. Two minutes to go. Shots 88, Riders 91, just a shot between them. Sullivan fakes the handoff to Wisbicki and gives it to Rundles instead. Rundles driving in, Rundles, high little float, it doesn't go, Tuck almost comes down with it, who did touch last? Referee says Barry Lamble, and it'll be a shots ball, he just teased us for a second before he pointed up court for the shots. Really tough shot by Cameron Rundles, went for the floater, didn't make it. Down low to Dobbins, squares up to Lamble, throws it across court. Babalola thinks about the three, takes the two instead, and Babalola hits. It's a one-point game with 91 seconds to go. Whoever steps up and plays on the defensive end is going to take this ball game. It could be anybody's game at the moment. Still a long time to go. Wisbicki is fouled by uh, Langhurst. And that is the fifth, so Brad Wisbicki will go to the line. Fifth on the team, so Brad Wisbicki will go to the line shooting two. And he's ordinarily an excellent free throw shooter. I knew as soon as I said that I was going to put the curse on him. Commentator's curse. Commentator's curse. After he's missed his last two, actually. Leicester had a game down in Guildford where they missed... I think it was seven straight free throws in the last 30 seconds. Oh, and this Vicky has gone 0 for 2 from the line. Ryan King slapped away by Hardy. Foul is called. Leicester not over the limit. That's only their third, so it'll be sideline, end line possession for the Sharks. I think Pat and Ostra is still talking about the missed free throws. I think it can't happen again, can it? Tough. Throws it out long to Babalola. Dobbins in the corner. Ryan King thinks about the three. Bounces it into tough. Great hands from Hardy, though, to knock it loose. Inside the final minute, riders by one. But they stuck on 91 still. Yeah, they need, they need a good offense here. Get a score. Rundles for three, That's big it. shot. Oh, my goodness! What a shot from Cameron Rundles. You said they needed a score. A three-pointer is the perfect shot for them. Yeah, put some four points up with 59 seconds to go or something. And really, really just tough shot from Cameron Rundles. Well, there's a guy with confidence oozing through his veins to take a shot like that pretty early in the offense. It's a must-make shot because you know your coach will go nuts if you miss that one. Yeah, but obviously, you know, the guy's got the confidence and obviously, you know, he knocked that down. As you said, obviously, if he would have missed it, I think we would have seen uh, Mr. Pascal and the antic on the side. Well, he's been playing so well in the last few weeks. He did hit a game-winning uh, long two, towed the line to win down at Guildford. 1994. Ryan King, oh, just for a second, looked like he was open. Babalola from the free throw line misses. Good work from Tuck, but he can only tip it out of bounds. I think Lamble boxed him out, was it? But nobody yeah. went after the rebound, and Tuck managed to get a hand on it. Yeah, Lamble done a really good job boxing Tuck out there. So riders will look to run the clock down here. 35 seconds to go. And they are going to tick this one right down. They're going to switch Babalola with Ryan King to guard Rundles. Sheffield foul, Leicester going to the line. Well, why would you wait 17 seconds to foul? That's the question. True. You would surely, if you're going into foul mode, you do it a bit quicker than that. But they have committed the foul, and Cameron Rundles with two free throws. Leicester already lead by two shots, so this is just determining what sort of shots they need to be for Sheffield. And there's going to need to be at least one three for the shots if they're going to pull this one out the bag. And if this one goes from Rundles, they're going to need two. Cameron Rundles. Well, he's been clutch in this last minute. The big three-pointer, and he makes two free throws. Sheffield need a couple of threes in a hurry here. Ryan King. Round the screen, drives in, pulls up for two and hits. 15 seconds to go with Bicky. Foul him, gets foul it, got to foul him. They haven't fouled him. And they let a few seconds get away there. 
you know, as soon as that ball comes in, somebody's got to actually foul him, put him on the line. Babalola questioning the corner, only because it was his fifth foul, but he had to commit the foul, they had to stop the clock. Yeah, they had to commit that foul and stop that clock, um, but obviously, as you said before, you know, you let a couple of seconds go off the clock before they actually made that foul. And uh, Leicester are going to make a substitution as well, with Griffin coming in for Brad Wisbicki. He's had a great game, Brad, with Bicky, 23 points to his name. Cameron Rundle's not far behind with 21 now after making that, but Rundle's doing it all here in this last couple of minutes. He's been their go-to guy down the stretch. Yeah, he's, he's taken over the game at the, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's done everything for them at the moment. And he makes both free throws, and Sheffield are going to call a timeout to not only draw up a play, but also advance the ball to the halfway line, because they've only got 12 and a half seconds uh, to uh, find six points here. Yeah, they've got to obviously try and draw something up to get it, maybe possibly a quick three or a quick two. And once that ball comes in, they obviously they need to foul straight away to stop this clock. Well, with. Uh, 12 and a half seconds to go. I mean, it's one of those things when you get to this stage of the game, you try and think who the man of the match, who the MVP will be in this game. Obviously, uh, Dobbins with 36 points has had a monster game, but his team looked like they might be on the wrong end. Brad Wisbicki shot the ball so well. Cameron Rundles with the clutch shots down the end. Who do you think it would be? Um, you know, you've hit the nail on the head there. Obviously, Cameron Rundles is, is actually, you know, he's, he's stepped up in the in the fourth quarter. He's been the general, he's been the leader for his team. Um, he's knocked that big, big three down um, with, a, with a minute and so to go. Um, and Wisbecki's really stepped up. He shot the ball really, really well. Yeah, tremendous three-point shot. Sometimes it all comes down to one shot, and that was really the difference here that's given Leicester this six-point cushion. As if that doesn't go in and it's a three-point game right now, Sheffield have a real chance at overtime. As it is, they need a bit of a miracle. It has happened, it just doesn't happen very often. They get it into Dobbins, good hands from yeah. Sullivan, but Sheffield lose a couple of seconds off the clock there, and time not on their side. They need to get the ball in quicker and get the shot up quicker. Yeah, it was some great defense by Leicester, obviously stopping this ball getting put in. It's into ranking. This has to go for three. It doesn't go. It's out to Langhurst. Langhurst fires up for two, and that'll do it. Even though that goes in, Leicester are still going to win this ball game. Sheffield run over to foul, but with 1.2 seconds to go, they're already too far behind. And the Riders, tremendous start to the season and tremendous run on the road. That's the amazing thing. This is their fifth away game in six, and they've won them all. Yeah, obviously, you know, it's, it's tough on the road, um, but if you can pick up a W on the road, it really, really helps. And, you know, their home form is absolutely tremendous. It's a really, really tough place to go. So if these guys can still keep winning on the road, you know, these guys are going to be, you know, at the top near the end of the season. Well, that's the thing. Under Rob Paternostro, they've turned John Sanford into a fortress. They very rarely lose there. Last season, the reason they finished eighth in the league was because they were terrible on the road. They couldn't win away from home, but they've turned it all around in the opening six weeks of this season. And Drew Sullivan will ice it here. Doesn't matter that that doesn't go because time will expire. And the Leicester Riders just keep on keeping on. They have beaten the Sharks 99 points to 94. But a tremendous ball game between two very good teams. Yeah, you know, excellent game for Sky Sports. Um, obviously, each team had the chances to win the game. But um, unfortunately, the Sheffield Sharks just couldn't get over that final hurdle. And just a word for Justin Dobbins in uh, in defeat here, 36 points. What a monster game he had. Oh, he, he was absolutely tremendous. Obviously, in the, he's done all his work in the first half. I don't know whether, obviously, fatigue set in in the second, but he was absolutely tremendous tonight. Well, a thrilling game of basketball has ended with victory for the away team. The Riders keep on winning. They lead. They won by a final score of Sharks 94, Riders 99. Well, Atiba, from our perspective, it was a fantastic game, but I'm sure you'll be disappointed to end up on the wrong end of that scoreline. Yeah, it was um, it was a tough game. You know, I think both teams played pretty well tonight. Uh, by the score, 99-94, you know, guys were were executing, knocking down shots. So, 
high scoring game. Um, probably favored us a little bit more than us, but you know, we stayed with them and was down there to the stretch. Just had a couple of mental mistakes, a couple of turnovers. You know, guys got to, you know, we got to make those plays towards the end of the game, and they made their games. They had a big three. You know, they, they, they got some good guys on that team. I think that team's going to be one to watch for this season. Yeah, that Rundle's three with about 40 seconds to go was a real dagger. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think it's easy to say we played the top three, four teams in the league so far, just from what I've seen. I think these these guys will be uh, be up there as well. I think, uh, you know, Rob has a good side this year. And a tremendous performance for you from Justin Dobbins. 36 points, he was a beast inside. Yeah, I think Justin responded. I think a lot of guys responded. I kind of got on, on this, got on him this week about, uh, you know, the game last week on Sunday in the Rocks. I thought we played flat, no energy. I thought tonight we played a lot harder. We played focused. Um, we didn't have a slip up in the third quarter like we have been in the past. So, you know, the guys responded to what I wanted them to do. It just came down to a couple plays and we didn't make them. Thanks for talking to us. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Well, Rob, a tremendous win for you guys. You hung in there at times, but came up with the big plays down the stretch. Yeah, we did. I, you know, it was uh, the Dobbins show for a while. We had a hard time stopping them. But going into the break, we felt pretty good because we were in, in, in the lead. And, you know, we didn't play bread a lot. But uh, second half, uh, I thought uh, we mixed up the defenses a little bit and we were able to get the stops when we needed. But credit our guys for winning another road game. And we've seemed to, uh, you know, play very well on the road. And this is a tough place to play. Yeah, seven wins in a row now, and I think five of them have been on the road. It's tremendous, really. Yeah, you know, when you look at the schedule at the beginning of the season, you were a little concerned about all the road games early, and, you know, we thought maybe we'd have to be a little bit patient, but uh, some of these young guys have come in, and it doesn't matter where, where we're playing. You know, Cameron and Aaron, along with Sully, and, and then Brad tonight, those guys uh, came up big, and they took the big shots and, and hit them when they needed to. I mean, Brad was brilliant from the three-point line, but a word for Cameron Rundles in that shot with 40 seconds to go. Yeah, you know, Cameron uh, has done that before in, in, in college. He was a big, big shot maker, and uh, he has the confidence to make the play. But, you know, offensively, I thought we were good, but I thought second half we needed to get some stops on the defensive end and, and give our guys credit for doing that. Well done tonight, Rob. Well Thank done. you. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Let's take a look back at all the results over the last week in the BBL. Plymouth played their first league game of the campaign and a big second quarter sent them on their way to a 92-76 victory over the Lions. Worcester's great start to the season continued on Friday with a 97-79 victory over the Tigers and Riders won our main game. Glasgow were victorious in Durham, Leicester made it eight wins in a row to set a club best start to the season and Sherrod Prezi Blue netted a game winner for the Wolves against the Raiders. Paul James's squad, like Leicester, 9-1 through 10 games. Speaking of 9-1, the Newcastle Eagles are also at that mark, thanks to a 78-74 victory at Cheshire on Sunday. Here's what it means for the league table then. Newcastle out in front with five wins, with Worcester and Leicester snapping at their heels. The Rocks also on eight points. Sheffield drop outside the playoff places after their defeat, with Mersey and Guildford still looking for their first league win of the season. Well, a tremendous game here in Sheffield with a great victory for the Riders. We continue our coverage next, live from Milton Keynes, where the Lions will be taking on the Worcester Wolves. That's MK Lions versus Worcester Wolves, Tuesday, 29th of November, Sky Sports 3, live at 7 p.m. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Choice of over 180 games. I give you Bedford Casino. Oh. You again. Go on, up it. Betfair, the casino in your living room. Go to betfair.com slash bonus now.
I hear the food here is sensational. It's just so hard to get a table. Peckish Complete Bird Food helps keep birds looking great and full of life. Peckish Complete. Bring more birds to your table. Bet365.com. Welcome to Casino City.